Hey guys, and welcome back. Today is Monday. I think it's the 13th, right? I hope you guys had a wonderful Mother's Day with your moms or however you celebrated uh, the weekend. Uh, back to some Monday motivation. <clears throat> so, I know last week I did uh, an episode on persistence. And uh, I got a couple feedback on that one, you know, um, maybe wasn't the greatest one, you know, um, how ironic. But again, you know, just to emphasize persistence, you know, we got to keep going and going, going forward. So you can't let, you know, um, a shitty episode or an episode which might not have been the greatest episode, you know, um, deter you or push you away from, from doing this stuff. Again, as we discussed before, if you love what you do, you're gonna keep doing it, and um, if one of the, you know, if, if, if uh, you, success cannot be your only motivator. Your 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 basic your your main motivator should be failure in the sense of, uh, you know, if something didn't come out as great as uh, you thought it would it did, <clears throat> or as great as you wanted it to have come out. Um, you want to fix it. You want to make it better. You want to. You know put the best possible um product or, or or art or whatever it is you're doing out there um that you can do and uh that's uh but anyways yeah i just wanted to cover that um but actually today what i was going to talk about was more uh along the lines of uh you know why do something you hate why starve you know as the saying goes why starve doing something you hate when you can starve doing something you love and uh, you know that's like one of the main things that a lot of people out there struggle with um, when it comes to you know doing doing what they love because uh, it always comes down to the fact of like uh, yeah well how am I how am I gonna you know survive how am I gonna pay for for my life how am I gonna you know so on and so forth because when one relies on a job, when one relies on on having a you know a career type of stuff, when, when one decides to do stuff for the money, in order to provide, um, in order to provide some sort of um, comfort, some sort of safety, some sort of. Uh, uh, just a regular income so that you can feed yourself and pay the bills when one focuses too much on money then that's when people become unhappy because very simply you know it's 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 how you make your money you know that's like one of the main things that determines happiness it's not how much money you make but how you make that money that's that's kind of like basically it right there. I mean, it's 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 a combination of that, and then you know deciding for yourself that you're you know that you're gonna be a lot happier. So for example, there's a lot of people out there that make let's say a hundred thousand dollars a year or eighty thousand dollars a year, and uh, or it doesn't matter. It could be forty thousand dollars a year, you know. And um, you guys are very scared to do what you love because if you do what you love instead of making a hundred you might be making 80 or you might be making 40 or you know what I mean or you know you're, you're probably making 40 right now which is barely enough and then all of a sudden you know you, you decide that you want to be a musician you want to be an artist you want to be a whatever and you realize that well now all of a sudden instead of making 40,000 you're probably gonna be making 30 maybe 20 most likely and um and most people don't want to um, deal with that, you know. They, most people don't don't want to make that kind of a sacrifice. And um, when you don't, well, then that's when you're stuck where you're stuck. And that that goes for everybody out there. Because look, there's a lot. Uh, this is these videos are not for everybody. A lot of messages that you know that I'm talking about this is not for everybody. Because there's a lot of people out there. That are that are already doing what they love. There's a lot of people out there that are perfectly happy and satisfied with their life. Um, there's a lot of people out there that enjoy 
what they chose to do with their life, you know, with their career, with their everything. Some people are lucky like that, but not everybody. You know, most people out there, I believe, no matter what your age, have been fed this lie, have been fed this, uh, this story that, you know, we got to do X, Y, Z, just like society says, in order to be happy. You know, we got to have uh, a nice paying job. We got to have a wife and kids. We got to do all of these things the society, the society deems are important and not what we think are important. We're, we're taught how to be machines. You know, we're taught how to be, um, you know, factory workers. You know, that's what school was for. That's the reason, um, really, school exists. The, the reason the school, the school exists in a modern, in, a, in, in this modern world, but it's, uh, man, hold on. Let me reformulate my thoughts, you know, sorry. I guess what I'm saying is that the modern, um, the modern schooling that our children receive, that we receive, that people receive, um, is something that was created back in the late 1800s um, in order to educate children and educate young people on how to work in factories and how to deal you know, with uh, the work environment and how to be employees and, and good factory workers and good workers, period. And um, obviously that's not what we do anymore. And that's not what we need. You know, that's not what we should, we should be teaching our children anymore. And, uh, but it's still the case. And, you know, along those lines, there's so many other antiquated things that we constantly um, teach our children as, you know, the modern way to happiness. And not just our children, you know, we ourselves, you know, we're taught these things. And so it brings me full circle to the point now where, you know, if you're watching this video or if you're watching something similar to, to this and so on and so forth, um, then you're already, you know, pretty, you're, you're already on your way to becoming pretty self-aware. You know, whether you're already self-aware or you're in the beginning of the process or what have you, um, you understand that you know, what, how, the way things are going on in your life are not right. You're not happy with your situation. And instead of sitting there and crying about it like a little baby, all right, I was gonna use another B word there, trying to uh, keep it. <laughs> Anyways, but the point is, is that, um, you know, you guys are out there, you know, figuring it out um, and taking matters into your own hands and, uh, and doing the work. And uh, getting 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 to that to, to that point where, like I was just saying, where you're not, why, you know why work? I mean, why why starve doing something you hate when you can starve doing something you love? A lot of you guys are on your way there right now. Look here, check this out. Check this out real quick. Look how stretchy this is. Crazy, right? So. I mean, look at me, for example, like I'm doing something I love and, uh, you know, about 10 years ago when I was uh, in the kitchens, you know, working as a chef and, uh, you know, rolling and toiling or boiling and toiling or whatever the hell is I was doing out there. Um, you know, always in the back of my mind, I was like, fuck, I mean, I don't want to be doing this. I want better for my life. I want, I want a better situation. I want to be, you know, truly doing what I want to be doing and happy. And, um, you know, I would see, you know, people out there like uh, Anthony Bourdain, for example, and others, and others but, but basically, mainly Anthony Bourdain. And I saw that he did it. He was able to get the fuck out. And, um, you know, not just get out, but uh, but literally create the the world. You know, create the world that he wanted, the universe that he wanted, to the point where he created this program. Um, you know, no reservations and, and other versions of that, in which he got to use his other talents as an artist in order to create this brand new thing and become and re literally reinvent himself and uh, 
you know, I know Anthony Bourdain from back when he was a sh just a cook, uh, just a chef or what have you. And now, you know, obviously he's passed away. It's another story for another day. Um, but, you know, the point is that, you know, he realized his dreams of uh, getting out of that kitchen, traveling the world and doing not just a cooking show or a travel cooking show, but, you know, doing his travel cooking show, his version of that, like something that was never even considered to be, you know, something that could that could have been done, you know, something just brand new. And, uh, you know, obviously we have him to thank for, um, you know, all the other copies of that same kind of program that have come about after him. But in order for him, I'm gonna be able to cross this shit over. I think it's about. I'm gonna wait. All right. Yeah. Sorry. Waiting for that green light, but you know, let me stand under the shade. So, you know, the reality is, is that. You know, we all have that power. Okay, yeah, yeah, so I don't wanna, yeah, I forgot. I was telling you a story of how, you know, back in about around 10 years ago when I was in the, the crossroads. You know, see, people here are so polite. You know, they see like the people right behind me, like, um, they, they would've should've crossed. I don't know why they didn't cross, but it's all good though. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, red light. So, yeah, don't mind me, man. I'm fucking, all, I'm all over the place all, all the time. So, <laughs> Uh, as I was saying, you know, I used to remember being, you know, thinking to myself, fuck, I don't, I don't want to, you know, maybe not necessarily that I wanted to do like the travel show or, or something like that per se, but I just knew I didn't want to do what I was doing. And I was just doing it because I was really good at it and I made money, you know, being a chef and that was my career of choice and that's it. What the fuck was I going to do? You know, I'm 30 years old. Um, I, I can't relearn anything. I can't start a new career. I can't, you know, go to school. I couldn't do anything. I was just kind of like in the, in that in that position that a lot of us are, you know, around that age, you know, where we've been doing a, a career or a job for a very long time, thinking, you know, that was uh, what we were going to do forever for our whole lives. And, you know, around the, the age we're 30, 30 something, you know, we realized that, no, this is not what we want to do at all. And I was, I was there. And it was a long process as to how I eventually got to where I got here today, but it was a very conscious decision. It was a very conscious choice for me to get here to this point. Yeah, sorry, it's a little windy. I can feel the wind, so. See, that wind suck, man. I'm never gonna learn, man. Still, follow, I never follow those rules. Anyways, all right, no more wind. So. Like I said, I, I just knew that I didn't want to be doing what I was doing. And um, and I wasn't necessarily sure what I wanted to do, but I know I, I knew, I knew deep down in my heart that I wanted to do many, many things. And uh, subsequently, in the years after um, me leaving uh, the city of Miami, I, you know, ended up in Seattle, um, where I was cooking, but cooking, doing something completely different. Then I ended up stop, you know, stopping the cooking uh, altogether, and I started doing a bunch of other things. You know, everything from from business consulting to to doing stuff with marijuana. It was legal up there, and just you know, a bunch of other shit. Until eventually, I came across the camera, and I came across this brand new medium. I mean, it wasn't a brand new medium, obviously, but. I came across this medium again, once again in my life, and I was like, oh wow, um, I never stopped loving this stuff, you know what I mean? Like I was always like, I love the camera, I love um, this whole world back when I was a kid, and in that time span, you know, we had things like uh, YouTube be created, we have uh, better cameras, better equipment, all of this shit, things went from analog to digital, and all of a sudden I, I came across this world again um, as an adult, and uh, I was like, oh shit. Uh, I still love this stuff. I mean, not only do I love this stuff, but I'm really good at it. And um, yeah, I'm not tooting my own horn here. There's everybody else telling me I'm good at it. So I'm actually really hard on myself. But the point is, is that I fucking, uh, I got to it again. 
I started uh, I started doing it again and um, you know years later I think it's uh, three and a half years now or longer in which I've been doing this shit already I, I think the kids are all getting out of school huh fucking hilarious yeah look at all the kids up ahead but um yeah and so now I find myself in a different country documenting this stuff just like I've been documenting stuff for a while and then all of a sudden and I hope they're doing funny faces behind me because that will be fucking hilarious probably not but the point is that like now look what I'm doing like you know I, I'm here it's kind of like the beginning process of my my traveling I know I want to be traveling and I'm gonna be traveling and doing a bunch of other shit and uh, you know now it's again just up to me what I want to fucking do I'm gonna cross the street bro it's too much traffic over here and uh, and so you know again the power is all in our hands you know instead of uh, getting overwhelmed you know about a year ago when I had to uh, when I had to leave LA when I had to leave the US of A um, instead of uh, being in full panic mode and this fucking sucks and this horrible I was more like all right well let the next adventure begin you know let this adventure begin now and um, I have not been disappointed you know I've been just grabbing life by the fucking horns you know for a very long time at first it was just because I didn't have a choice but you know after a while you kind of get get hooked on that adrenaline rush and it's again it's not for everybody but the point is that for a good majority of my life I was starving doing shit that I hated doing shit that I didn't want to do just doing stuff because I had to do it just like all of us all right and now all of a sudden you know for years now I've been put in a position where you know, I get to do whatever the fuck I want literally I mean you know obviously I still gotta work I still gotta you know um, I got clients I got the whole fucking deal you know we're, obviously we're all um, we all gotta do shit but the point is that it's it's all basically shit that I want to fucking do straight up and uh, it's a blessing for me to be put you know to be in this position but at the same time it's like fuck man you know I, I kind of fucking earned this shit here It took a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of uh, a lot of everything, you know. And uh, all right. Well, speaking of doing whatever the fuck I want, uh, seems like uh, electronic equipment and equipment also has a mind of their own, and they want to do whatever the fuck they want. So, um, yeah, I was really interrupted because I got like a little thing that says SD card error. I hope. Uh, it was recording everything I did because I would have sucked if I uh, did this really good episode and it didn't record it. But anyways, that's besides the point. You know, since I I'm literally doing what I fucking love, um, even though it's... I doubt Hey guys, uh, yeah, sorry about that. It seemed like uh, the camera turned off uh, either due to some heat or some sort of uh, card issue. But regardless, I'm here now. Just wanted to let you guys know... Um, that at the end of the day guys really it's just up to you um, I'm gonna put a little Gary V video at the end of this uh, just to keep the whole motivational Monday situation going because um, I feel it's very important I think every day should be motivational um, I think every day you should wake up wanting to kick it in the kick the day in the face and uh, take full advantage of it and make it your own because uh, like I was saying earlier you know at the end of the day <laughs> You know, I'm living this this insane, crazy, awesome life that I never thought I would be living. I never, I never, you know, and I never picture myself doing what I'm doing right now. But as I'm doing it, I'm so fucking happy and glad that I'm am here doing this, and also, you know, just looking forward um, as to one more awesome adventures this life is gonna bring me. That hasn't even, you know, none of this shit has even really started yet. And uh, it's a blessing. It's amazing. It really is. It really is awesome. And um, the only way I was able to get here is by making that decision many, many years ago. Being truly honest with myself and letting myself know that not only was I not happy doing what I was doing, but that I needed to make a change. 
And even though I didn't know what that change was at the moment, I knew that, you know, I had to start off somewhere, you know, and um, whether it was just, you know, admitting, admitting is a first step. So, you know, admitting to, to myself that I wasn't happy and that I was miserable, that was number one. Number two, starting to make the conscious decision that I was gonna change my life. Um, and then just uh, going about the process again. Um, it's, it's a very, very long, drawn out process that, I mean, I didn't do this shit overnight. It took me a long ass fucking time to get here. It took me fucking years. I mean, I'm 37 now, I'm 37 and a half. And, uh, you know, I want to say that this process probably started like around eight years ago, give or take. So, and in my mind, you know, I feel like I haven't even started yet, even though I've been on this journey for a very long time. But as each day goes on, as each day I wake up, as each day um, becomes the, the, the day, I'm, I'm so thankful and happy that I am where I am right now. And uh, again, even though I might not understand, it, it, okay, even though I did not understand back in the day how I was going to get to this point of happiness in my life, I went and I did it. And here, I sit here in front of you. I'm, I'm actually standing and walking right here in front of you. And I still don't necessarily know how the fuck I got here. I mean, I know how I got here. I mean, I, I know and I've documented a good majority of it. But I, I mean, in a weird way, it's like, it's if, if, I, if I look back at the process from the beginning, I, 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 right now I find it extremely daunting and then I think to myself, how the fuck did I even do that? How did I get from point A to point B? And that's the feeling you want, guys. I mean, that's the feeling you want. You know, uh, if you've done anything at all with your life out there, you've already know that feeling all too well. It's, it's not like it's that foreign of a feeling. But the thing is that, we you know, not only do we know what we need to do in a certain sense, well, we know um, how we got to get there which means you know just putting down your you know again you know admitting that you don't want to do what you're doing anymore and then start taking start taking the process start taking the steps i mean in order to start changing your fucking life and it's again it's not really rocket science you know that, that should be one of my memes or or one of my quotes it's not rocket science anyone can do it it really seriously anyone can do it and um i'm no, i'm no one special I'm really not. I'm just uh, just a Cuban from another country, living in another country, talking to you guys about living in another country and other other shit. So yeah. So um, you know, and again, it's just having fun with life. You know what I mean? Like it's not even <laughs> you know, like uh, I don't know. It was funny. Yeah, I know it was a bit loud on uh, my part, but <laughs> I guess I'm excited. I'm so fucking excited for life and uh, just everything in general and how awesome all this shit is. So. All right, guys, without further ado, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. It's already getting late um, in the video. Um, I don't want to be filming too much, as you know. Sometimes it starts uh, borderline rambling. I know you guys love it, I love it all, but regardless, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Please, you know, um, if you want to see more of this stuff in the future, you want to continue seeing all this shit, you already know what to do. Um, you know, hit me up on Patreon, hit me up on any other, you know, um, all that good stuff. But I guess the, one of the things I also wanted to say before I forget is uh, today is Monday. So tonight, Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Eastern Central, um, we're going to be doing uh, Discord. Um, so I go live on Discord every Monday and Thursday night. So please join us tonight, okay, Monday night for uh discord discord fun where we fucking you know go go boss to the wall doing all kinds of shit you know we watch all kinds of videos you know whether it's educational videos <laughs> whether it's educational videos or whether it's uh you know uh, more travel videos or whatever you know we we talk about all kinds of things it's always random but it's always fun and uh we all love it and uh don't be late guys don't be late because it seems like a lot of you guys always show up late but Let's do this, all right, guys? So I'll see you guys tonight. 
Um, hope you guys had an awesome weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode as usual. And uh, as always, don't forget to stay awesome. And I'll see you guys mañana. Peace tonight. I'll see you guys tonight and mañana. All right, later. You can live on six hours sleep. So you have 18 hours. You have 18 goddamn hours. I want to know what you're doing with your 18 hours. Because you can work your nine to five and that's nine. And you can travel for an hour here and there. Respect, nice little solid commute. Oh, you want to be a family man? Mazel tov. You can spend two hours with your kids. What do you do with those other five hours? You're watching House of Fucking Cards. You're playing Madden. You're relaxing from the other intense 10. Gary, I already spent 11 hours. Well, great. Then don't complain or want more. Respect that by getting rest and this and that, you were giving up opportunity to go into a new world. You want the audacity to have a 1% life. Let's, let's call it what it is. You want to live as well as the one to 2% in the world. It's not very complicated. The math is very raw. Like, you, if you want to have one of the best lives in the world, which is you live on your terms, you have to pay your dues to get there. And you have to be lucky enough to figure out that you had talent in the thing that you actually want to do. Because you can work 24 hours a day, and if you stink at golf, or you're not a good content producer, or your logos look like the shit I would make, then you're gonna lose. So that's what you gotta do.